which of those great image AI's tools should you use? And this is the question that I asked myself. And as they are ever evolving, like, you know, Stable Diffusion 3 just hit the market. They even made it possible that Stable Diffusion 3 is much easier to prompt. This first image of Stable Diffusion 3, which I created just using this prompt, Oil painting style, this dreamlike digital art captures a vibrant kaleidoscopic bird in a lush rainforest. As you know from my previous videos, which is a funny fact, that Stable Diffusion was trained on real oil paintings. And this is why they always have those small signatures on the bottom right. And I really like how Stable Diffusion captured this oil painting style and the colors. And you see that the background is kind of more rough and there are more details. And especially on the bird, a lot of details. And this is... I feel like this is like a real human would do. This is Leonardo AI. And you see the big difference. Leonardo AI is more focused on digital art. This image looks really simplistic, but I still like it. Don't get me wrong. It's just not capturing the vibe of an oil painting. It's much more simpler, but it does stand out. I really like this image. You can choose this kind of image style with Leonardo AI. And finally, we have Dolly 3, the big competitor by Microsoft and OpenAI. And what does it create? It creates this crazy image. I mean, it focuses so much on creativity, doing something that maybe a human would never do. And I really, really like this in AI. Some of you are critic about this, but I'm not. I really like when AI is creative. And you see that this lush, dense rainforest really gets a special highlight with this sun coming through the forest here on the right side it really has problems to get through this thick kind of veins and forest branches on top of that it highlights the bird you might not use this for your realistic images but if you want to have some fantasy scenes or something like that and it also depends on the prompting what kind of image you get with dolly 3 it really tries to follow your prompt so a little bit more than half a year ago, you needed to prompt the AI really weird prompts and tags. Like, for example, I found this on Civit AI, which is pretty much similar to what we are trying to create. And it's a painting of a colorful bird on a black background, which is fine with me. And it matches the image. It's Phoenix rising from the ashes. Still fine with me. But then you have this breathtaking render and now it starts to add these emotions, these tags that are uh, associated with high quality images. Like sometimes it even gives you aperture settings like for cameras to connect with images where it learned from professional photographers. And from the negative prompt side, you needed to prompt it like an insane list of negative prompts and you even had to give those brackets around them like here for example manga has four or five brackets around it because back in the days those ais were really trained on creating amazing images like manga style images and to get this out of the image you needed to add manga to a negative prompt and even add like up to five brackets which is insane and you had to even give like too many fingers long necks they had so much problems with those physical properties and this is just a standard that they put in um, it doesn't really fit the image uh, because it's a bird but still you have like ugly out of frame malformed limbs uh, missing arms mutated hands blur dull uh, untextured stuff like this so you had to give this so many prompts to get a great image and now today it's simpler than ever this will come in the next videos i hope that you enjoy it and see you all in the next one bye bye